Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, yeah. you know, there's all, there, you know, aside from, you just have to have that, um, the drive or the want mm-hmm. to do it too. I always, when I was growing up, I always saw people that were, that had more stuff and a lot of times they were doing their own thing. Mm-hmm. You know, there are people that have decent jobs and make decent money, but the people that always had a little bit more or had the cool stuff were always had their own business and things like that. So it's yeah. like, man, I, I that's think- what I was I, I agree with you. It's I agree with what you just said, even though I'm you know teasing you. Um, it's your it's your own personal philosophy, right? If you're the kind of person that is self motivated and you know you know how to drag yourself up by your bootstraps, you can you can really benefit. But if you're the kind of person that's like, oh, I'm my own boss. Yeah, today I'm not working. <laughs> um, <laughs> then you're you're, gonna be, you're pretty much you're pretty much done, right? Well, you know, when you have uh, orders to fill and you have people waiting for stuff, even though I don't, I, in the beginning, I did take deposits on stuff Mm -hmm. and everybody that I got money money from got their stuff, but I don't do that now and I don't take people's money because I don't want to hear their crap, Mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when somebody calls, if they start bitching at me about not having something, my response is, did I take any of your money? I don't owe, I don't owe you a damn thing. And if you're just patient, you will get your stuff. Everybody gets their stuff. Right. Or they can go somewhere else. <laughs> right. And I'll, I had a customer on the phone that was complaining about something wasn't fitting right the other day. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just send your money back. I'll give you money back. Because some folks you're never going to satisfy. No matter what you do or how mm-hmm. high you jump, <laughs> how much you talk nice to them, mm-hmm. they're never going to be happy. So anyways, but that's another subject. But um, yeah. So yeah, to to yeah. do the business thing, you just need to. You, you, it's not for everybody, mm-hmm. and and I have friends that don't do it, and and they go, oh yeah, you got you know you're the the rich guy or whatever. It's like I'm not the rich guy. I'm just the guy that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. self-employed. For, for sure. You're self-employed, right. yeah, which yeah, is yeah. his own wealth. So speak to this, uh, Ken. You know, one of the things I think being a, a small business, some something like what Walter was just talking about. If you're talking about PSA and there's problems and people send things back or you've got to read that's like one thing for a big company but as a small company that that could pretty much hurt right oh it, it can mm-hmm. and that's why you have to make sure that it's good going out mm-hmm. so that your so that your returns are minimal mm-hmm. and yeah. you know people having issues and having to do tech support is minimal and so that, that's what you have to do as a small business is, is make sure that things are right when they go out the door. Yeah, yeah. it's like, well, it's for example, it's a stock, you know, like a stock to go in the back of an HK, stock to go in the back of a gun with a sheet metal receiver, stock to go in the back of a gun that no two of them are hardly the same mm-hmm. because yeah. they're bent out of sheet metal. So you, you go to put it on the back, some guys go right in, the pin goes right in, the stock slides back and forth, it's beautiful. Other ones go to put it on and it like goes halfway in and binds. And it's like, well, some guys are like, eh, I'll figure it out. No big deal. Mm-hmm. And and other guys, like my, my wife talked to a guy today that didn't know what a QD mount was. Oh, for and he, shame. And, and he on. Has an, Wait, he, hold on a second. Has, Did he work for Caltech? And he has a he has an HK. <laughs> he has an HK. Not a not a not a not a clone. Walter he has missed an HK. that. Walter missed that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said, did the guy work for Caltech? Per, per chance. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> Just teasing but, Caltech people. Yeah, yeah. So she had to explain it because he was complaining. Well, I put the stock on. Now I don't have a sling loop. Mm-hmm. And Peggy's like, there's a QD mount there. A what? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, your guns just... come with QD mounts, of course. I forgot. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, so that's the kind of things you deal with. That's sometimes. like space age technology, Walter. How can you expect people to know about that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, my response oh, would have boy. been go to go to Magpul's website and just type in yeah, QD. QD. Or, yeah. And but it happens. People world, don't know. People a whole new know. world will open up to you. You know. Yeah. People don't so, know about everything. There's no stupid questions. Uh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, <yeah>, okay. <laughs> no. The uh the the question. Well, anyways, that, that the guy with that told that 
to mm-hmm. send it back was mm-hmm. it was an issue about the we we sell stocks with the tail hook brace on it mm-hmm. made by Gearhead Works, and Gearhead Works has a letter for their brace and yada yada mm-hmm. yada, um, and he was questioning them. Well, we don't you don't have a letter for your stock with the tail hook on. It's like no, I don't. Um, go yeah, you can also yeah, go, go look it Gearhead up if you want. Go. He wasn't satisfied. He was not gonna. Oh, he, he wanted the piece be, of paper. Yes. What is the likelihood of you having that piece of paper if something happened? Well, whatever whatever that so would silly. be, yeah. he was you not going to be satisfied. Yeah. And I told him, I'm not sending my stock to the ATF to get an approval letter because I've already went through that with a 50 cal, and it's not, it's not worth it's it. It's not fun. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't come out the way. All you do is open a can of worms you don't want to open up. So I said, you know what? If you're not happy, I'll be more than happy to give you money back for the stock. And he says, okay, he's going to send it back. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So let me see. I'm trying to. Um, there's a couple of different things here, but let me get this. I know there's a lot of comments. I'm, I would ask everyone to smash the thumbs ups out there. Armament and Axis says uh, safety harbor firearms. So if I buy a SHTF upper and complain <laughs> enough, you will give me my money back. And then yes, just... <laughs> I have. I, I'll be honest with you. I have done it a couple times because this is not a I... way for you to get a free gun. No, you're not going to get a free gun. Um, yeah. Walter will also want the gun back, right, Walter? If... Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're not getting the gun. <laughs> um, you don't get no money back unless they get the gun back. <laughs> I mean, it don't work that way. We are talking but, about the fact that these are small companies, so come on, let's that, not invent that ways goes, to. That goes, that goes back to that thing. You're mm-hmm. never, when somebody's got their mind up that they don't want it anymore, mm-hmm. you're never gonna make them happy, no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. Yep. No matter how nice you are to them, everything else, just mm-hmm. go ahead, return it to me. I'll give you money back. You go on your way, and I go on my way. If you yeah. don't, they're going to get on the Internet, and every time, it'll be five years later, and they'll be still whining. Mm-hmm. Well, you, well, he didn't do what I wanted him to do, and he did like this, and he talked to me bad, and I, he hurt my feelings. And it's like, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's easier just to, you know, whoop, have a yeah. nice day. Yeah, by the way. Put Chris on the list. Don't sell him anything. You can put him on the I, list. I, I no, I, I would, I would. Yeah. I, I, now, Chris, I don't. I, this is, goes with anything: cars, mm-hmm. motorcycles. There mm-hmm. are some people that do not need to own a firearm of any sort, shape, or form. Oh, for sure. Because but there's also people that are con artists. You know that, right? There's well, people you, that well, buy I, things, I, and their whole plan is to get something for free. Uh, and yep. to complain and then thinking you'll go oh okay i'll give you your money back and they get to you know people try all kinds of things you uh, could do uh, that yeah. there's something in the universe called karma though uh, <laughs> i sure hope so that's gonna catch I, can up think, to you. I, I can think of a couple people i want the karma to go real hard on. yeah but so. don't but don't practice don't practice don't i wouldn't do this to a big company and definitely doing it to um, a small company is just in my opinion evil to try to get free stuff out of them or you know, to are, try to put, leverage them to, to get stuff or whatever. That's not cool. From, so, from my personal experience, there are mm-hmm. some people that, that, that are known in other companies for uh, returning things and, mm-hmm. and making things go bad on purpose and then trying to get something out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, um, <laughs> I know for sure. So, mm-hmm. um, I just yeah. I heard from another manufacturer that mm-hmm. heard about something that happened to me, and he goes, oh, yeah, we know who he is. Oh, so okay. um, yeah, well, yeah. Com- some yeah companies do keep lists of people who do all that, you yeah. know. Um, and the bigger companies, their customer service, they record everything in case you don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the one of the benefits of dealing, like I'm trying to on what I'm trying to do here is cover what it is dealing with smaller manufacturers like yourselves. One of the benefits you get of that is when you have an issue, you call up. You're speaking to Walter at Safety Harbor yeah. Firearms. You're speaking to Ken at K and M Arms. You've yep. got to respect yep. that. So even you know these are mechanical things, and there may be issues, but these these guys are th- this is everything to them. They've invested everything that they have into their companies, and this is how they feed and take care of their families. They're gonna take care of you. You don't be uh, don't be a dick about it. <laughs> I, will, I yeah, I want I want you to be happy and be shooting. That's what I, I don't ever want to hear sure. from you again. To be honest with you, happy, happy customer you never hear from. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's 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 not a, that's not true because every, well, no every, every once in a while I'll get a you know an email from you know a customer, and you know it's like okay, well I'm getting an email from them. Oh, what's, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! What's wrong? And then you you know. You know, I, I had this one guy 
go on this full long thing about you know the firearm was doing this it was doing this and then he gets got to the end and he says oh i'm uh-huh. just kidding none, none of that <laughs> happened and, oh man i wanted to reach through that monitor and just kind of strangle that guy but you know it was it was all it was all good at the end of the day oh uh, man but yeah i i do get those i mean people will call like oh man i got your stock i put it on it fits great thanks boom keep up the good work boom it's like right. yeah. that's cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I think most of the people out there are, are cool. You know, most people out there are human yeah. beings, you know, um, and they realize what you're doing. They probably have small businesses themselves. They're not trying to, you know, they may have some issue, but because you could talk to the guys here, you can get things worked out. I'm not saying the bigger companies don't have good yeah, customer yeah. service, but you could talk directly to the people that own the company. Yeah, try calling Remington and ask to talk oh. to somebody that made the gun. Okay, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think you're going to get you're going to get a receptionist. I have no yeah. respect for Remington. I remember when the R51 came out and there were all those problems and um, you know, at the NRA show, I remember being there and their engineers, like people were coming up to them, and they're like, "What's up with all these problems with this gun?" And their people in the booth were telling people, "Oh, we designed all that stuff for your safety." That's for your own good. That's why we did that. You don't want a gun that doesn't do... And I was like, are these people insane? And at that same NRA show, they discontinued the gun. Continued the gun, right? <laughs> so that's where you lose me. One of the things I think about dealing with a small... First of all, you buy the person. And a lot of times, big companies don't... You don't see the people. I think some big companies do a good job of getting out there in front of their customers and showing actual individuals who work there and showing that they care about that. But definitely with a small company, you see the people at that company. That's what I like about what... Like, obviously, Ken, I like the fact, you know, when we put it to full screen here, everyone's teasing me that I'm jealous of you. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Look at it. Look at yeah. that. But oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's not just that. Don't touch them. Don't yeah, touch don't. Them. Yeah. No, I'm not touching them. I'm not touching them. But that's just a wall of goodness right there, Yeah, right? that's a, oh, yeah, that's yeah. America. Freedom. <laughs> yeah, you know. But that's it's bullpup heaven. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But it's not just the guns, Ken. I think it's like, it's you. It's you as a person that I identify with and go, this is a good dude. You know, this is a real human being. He's a gun nerd. You know, he's into this stuff. I could learn stuff from him. All of that. You're just as passionate, I'm sure, and excited as Walter is when it comes to guns, when new stuff. Uh, you know, Walter does this yeah. all the time. Other people make guns, and Walter gets excited. He's like, oh, my God, i got to buy this thing. <laughs> I, just right? found the, I just found the LCP-22 the other day that Ruger makes. And I was like, nobody told me they're making a 22 LTP. Yeah. I, was yeah. like, I was like, I started looking to where I could buy one. Yeah, I mean, look at the, look at Ken's wall back here. Obviously, we can see the M, uh, M17S, but we can see lots of things here. Let's see. I see a, a C33, the Caltech. Yeah, the CP. C- yeah, the CP33. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Don't buy, touch. I Don't buy keep... a P90. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. PS90. I PS90. make a little charging handle. Keep for your the hands PS90. to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. I am. I'm not. I'm not touching it. I'm just. You know. I make a charging handle for that. I'm. I'm. Oh, you do. Oh, yes. It. Yeah. Yep. I'm making. Uh, I do a spring for the PS90, uh, the CP33. I'm looking at uh, uh, building a Some part things. for that. Yeah. Um, that's a bull, that's a bullpup kit on the 22. I think that's a Ruger at the up top. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a um, Ruger uh, 1022 with a bull barrel in it. I mm-hmm. just got that back uh, recently from uh, from Paint. Uh, from my local uh, local paint guys, uh, we plead mm-hmm. the second. I take all my stuff to we plead the second for uh, for paint. Mm-hmm. They are an awesome. I'll give them a little plug. They're an awesome company. If you never need anything seracoded, yeah, um, or laser etched or laser engraved, uh, they do a knockdown drag out job. They're a good group of guys over there that are running that show. Oh, okay. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.